everybody, it's Deb here with Creative Life. Thanks for joining me today. So you guys, I hope you guys are having a great week. Thank you so much for joining me. Thanks for subscribing to my channel. You guys, so I do have 5K subscribers now and I am going to be planning to do a giveaway. I have sponsors and everything for the giveaway, but I wanted to mention it real quick before we moved on. So um, today I'm going to be doing a Trace Jolie project and this is using the card making it's card making and tag kit and I have the link for you down below so um, I am super excited for this project you guys um, I we're going to be using everything that comes in the kit and maybe some other items um, we might be pulling in some of this distress glaze that is from the mixed media kit um, I think we'll probably be using these two for sure. Uh, I really like these two colors that will go with this paper. Um, we may pull in um, another like a, maybe a pink, um, you know, something pink with it. Um, but I really think these are going to go great on these beautiful butterflies that come in the kit. So um, I will be pulling in probably some coffee dye paper that I've done uh, that's in my stash and I'll be pulling those in as well. So I'm super excited you guys. So let's go ahead and get started with this cute little journal we're going to be doing. Okay, so to start out with, I'm just going through some of the papers and I'm folding up the coffee uh, papers that I had in my stash. I'm folding up the beautiful cardstock and I decided to do this junk journal because one, I haven't done one in a long time. And then two, um, the way that the paper was separated, I just was like, ah, oh, perfect for a junk journal. Um, this page, I decided to do a skinny little page for this one. Um, and I cut this one in half. And those are two little booklets that we're going to place inside of our journal. And I just think that that is so cute. So we ended up using one of those and not both of those. Next, I decided to go ahead and use my distress tool to distress all my papers around the edges. And I do that for all of them. Okay, so for this part, we went ahead and took this sheet of the cardstock and we folded it up about three inches and you're going to go ahead and burnish that down and you're going to go ahead and glue the sides down or adhere the sides down um, because these are going to be little pockets and it's going to be stuck in between some sheets uh, in our junk journal we're going to go ahead and just glue these down you don't need to glue down the middle part just the sides so to do this I went ahead and just used my double back tape and then I went ahead and I added some glue on there um, I just for double <laughs> double adhesive <laughs> um, I just do that and um, especially if you live in a humid area you don't want your things falling out so I went ahead and used both the glue and the double adhesive now I'm just stacking um, my booklets together all my pages and to see where I want everything and I'm just putting everything together and I really love how this turned out um, I put the small one on the inside there I did use one more um, plain sheet of coffee paper uh, dyed coffee paper and then I placed the music sheet in there I did ink everything around all of my sheets so I inked either pink or I used the vintage photo distress inks um, and then uh, for the ink colors if you need the ink colors again it was the distress photo uh, ink, vintage photo ink and I used the um, the flamingo kitsch, I believe, is what that's called. Or no, yeah, or kitsch flamingo, sorry. <laughs> and now I'm poking my holes. So I just used a little poker tool that I have in my uh, tool area. And I just went ahead and I just kind of eyeballed where I wanted my holes. I didn't really measure out, like, you know, um, how far apart. Uh, just kind of eyeballed it. And there were six holes all together. Once you get your thread uh, 
thread, you know, and needle threaded, um, you'll want to go ahead and do a knot at the bottom and then pull it through from the inside to the outside. And this is what I'm doing here. So my needle, I did it, it, it kind of went, it went through the holes, but it was not going through the other holes. So I had to kind of maneuver it through and it was giving me some issues. So I went ahead and fixed it and um, then just went now along my happy way and finished up threading everything. Um, I just used some thread. It was, I doubled up my thread actually. Um, it was from the Dollar Tree and so um, it was a little bit thinner but um, I went ahead and just doubled it up and it was fine. So pulled right through and had no problem at all. And then again you're just going to go ahead and thread it through all of your holes to make sure that it's nice and secured. Now the next piece I just went ahead and went double back over another hole that I already had threaded through and um, I went ahead and tied my knot just like so and that way nothing comes out um, and there we go we're done so now you can go ahead and decorate as you would like the next thing we did is we went ahead and I grabbed those pockets that are in the collection or in your kit and you're going to go ahead and score. I scored all of mine a half inch which you will see here you'll have to go ahead and kind of cut the little um, triangle piece out of each of the corners uh, so I just think a half inch was really good for them so here I'm showing you that you're going to just have to cut out that little triangle piece right there in the corner area Okay, and then you'll fold everything in and that will give you your pockets and um, just burnish them all down and then you can decorate them however you would like. This next part, I went ahead and uh, took that piece of cardstock and cut off four of those pieces out. I thought they would be really perfect for the front of the pockets and then I lined them with different items I think one of them I lined them lined it with some lace the other one I cut out that border that was in that cut apart sheet and I went ahead and just kind of uh, followed along with the pattern of the lace that was printed on there and used that as a border and I thought that looked really good um, and yeah it looked really pretty I really liked how that looked then next after this I went ahead and did um, the other one uh, which is the one I had the lace on and I just went ahead and I placed glue down first because this is, has the V in it and then I went inside and then cut out that middle section um, I did glue it down a little bit on the edges so that way it wouldn't come off um, as I was cutting and I cut straight across across <laughs> and then cut the V out um, so it looked uh, just perfect I thought it turned out really nice and then here because we have white on the sides I decided to go ahead and place this um, this ribbon or I'm sorry lace and I went ahead and stuck tape on the sides and then folded the lace up to where it was doubled so I did place some tape on the inside of that seam there and then folded it over so it's doubled up and then placed that down and um, it, I think it turned out really nice I really love how this this one turned out it looked so pretty it re really did remind me of you know like a vintage type pocket <laughs> that would be in a little scrapbook <laughs> so um, yeah so I really really liked how this turned out and I just stuck it on there just like that and um, yeah so I did both sides just like that so once I got my my lace on there then I went ahead and just I turned it the wrong way and then I realized it I was like whoops I need it the other way <laughs> so so I went ahead and placed that on there just like that and did the other side the same
Now this is where I start decorating everything. And for this piece, I thought it was so pretty. I wanted it to show up front because of the lace and everything. So I stuck it on the behind the front cover. And then I wanted to put something in the pocket um, but I wasn't quite sure what to put in there yet. And so I thought, well, we'll come back to it. So um, next, I went ahead and grabbed those wonderful tickets that are in the kit. And I started taking them apart and I inked everything up. So at this point, I just decided to go ahead and ink everything. And uh, just, you know, that way everything was ready to go and uh, to place inside and decorate. So here's one of the stamps that um, I had, and I went ahead and used it as a little tuck spot. Um, and then um, I, like I, like I said, I was kind of undecided on what to do with some of this stuff because I was just so excited and wanted to get this together. And I, I like doing junk journals. I don't do them very often, but I do love doing them. Um, they're just so fun. I mean, you can just do, you know, however you feel. And um, I just, I just love them. And so um, next I went ahead and for the circles, I inked them up and then I decided to go ahead and place those little um, milk discs that are in the collection or in the kit and I just went ahead and placed those on top of each of the circles and um, I just thought it added a really nice little um, background touch to them and um, so we can go ahead and decorate with those here I went ahead and placed that little paper clip or not paper clip but um, little clip up on top and then glued down the little stamps. Now I know it's off to the side. I apologize. Um, <laughs> I was trying to, you know, make sure uh, you could see everything in the screen. And uh, sometimes I get busy and I don't uh, look at the camera, make sure. <laughs> so here I decided to go ahead and stick those pocket, that pocket right there. And um, later on, we put a little tag inside of there. And then this one, I went ahead and placed that tag right in the center of this page. Now I wanted to get all of these pages filled. Um, I've left the coffee stained pages blank uh, because, you know, that's usually where people kind of journal or put other things. And so um, I went ahead and left those blank. For the sides of these little dividers, I thought it would be super cute to use that little ticket. And then here I went ahead and used the remaining uh, portion of that uh, laced paper border and um, as, a, as a tab for the front of this. I really liked using these little paper um, lace for the tab. I think it looked really good. And um, using up all the scraps that we could for this junk journal really, really was nice. <laughs> I think I had maybe one scrap left. We had a few of the discs left, but um, other than that, we used pretty much everything. Um, the one thing that I did not use is the butterflies. And I was, um, so we will be using those in another project. So here I went ahead and I found some lace that uh, just a remnants that I had in my stash and I thought oh you know what I can go ahead and use these and you know there's not that much left over that I need so I could just toss that away and um, I just really thought that looked pretty and uh, yeah so we went ahead and finished that off. These tags were in the kit, and I decided to go ahead and use the ticket stubs that we got, and I went ahead and folded them in half and used those as pull tabs, and I thought that was a really another good idea. Uh, versatility of these little stamps that you can do. Um, you can either pull them apart or you can use them as little pull tabs or just decoration on your book. Um, I was going to go ahead and stick two of the little milk things together, uh, but I decided to go ahead and use another um, ticket as a pull tab. And what I did with these is I did go ahead and instead of just gluing them on, I used uh, my um, stapler to just staple these on. I, I really thought that really added more of a vintage touch to that. 
So for this, this is one of the photo mats that was in the kit. And I went ahead and used one of those uh, cut apart sheets that were in the kit. And this is one of the squares. And now we're just going to go ahead and we're going to just touch this up by cutting uh, around the corners areas here. And then um, I'm going to find a place for it inside of the book. Um, I just thought this was so pretty. I did later on go ahead and distress and ink that up. Here is where I put another little cut apart piece and I just used a clip a paper clip to clip it in there and then this one I went ahead and used uh, placed this down as a little tuck spot and just found little places for odds and ends y'all um, I didn't really you know plan anything out I just kind of went with wherever I wanted stuff <laughs> Here is another piece of lace that I had in my stash and I went ahead and just clipped that off threw that away and that is using the rest of that remnants. So I just like I said went in my stash grabbed some laces that I had laying around and just kind of used them here and there. Um, and just kind of decide you know where to put things um, you know it's just back and forth <laughs> type of thing. <laughs> And here I decided to go ahead and lay that little lace hit there. It had little roses on it. And I thought that would be perfect right up against this little pink rose. I thought that was super cute. So here I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to play some music for you while I finish up decorating the book. So here I wanted to come in and let you know that here I was tearing off a piece of this rose from the pattern paper. I just thought it was so pretty. And um, I thought, you know, why not just stick it on top of one of the photo mats as a little decoration. And um, you can use this as a journaling card or what have you. And so I went ahead and did pink around the flower. And then on the edges of the photo mat, I went ahead and just inked those up with some vintage photo ink and then placed the flower right in the middle and I thought that that was so pretty so I mean it's just so simple but you know adds so you know so much um, elegance to your paper or to the aesthetic of your junk journal and I just really thought it was really pretty 
The next thing I did is remember the tag that we went ahead and papered with this and I went ahead and just inked it up and distressed it. Uh, the next thing I did is I saw this piece in the scrap pile and I thought oh, that would make a perfect little pocket. So I went ahead and it tore it out how I wanted it and inked it up and distressed it um, and inked up the sides of the little photo mat and then just placed that right in on top of there and I think it was a really super cute idea um, you can definitely do this with any type of you know pattern paper you have I just thought it looked really super cute and it was already torn so I thought you know what why not just add to it <laughs> So yeah, so anyway, so there's this piece and that just went right in one of those little pockets that we created there. And um, then I came back in and added those little tabs that we had from the collection. And um, I just went ahead and stapled those on, added the little tickets to it. Okay, you guys, so for the front of our book, I found this lace that I had in my stash. It is so pretty. It has hearts on it. So pretty. I think this was a gift from someone, but I can't remember who. Uh, so I just love it. And I've been actually hoarding it for a while. <laughs> so I just love it. And so I went ahead and thought, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and use this. Um, and then I went ahead and or adhered down the little rose uh, ephemera piece there and then started just placing my flowers down here and there and I think I placed three of them up in the front here and then I went ahead and added some other things now the one thing that I kind of had decided after I placed everything down was to add the large tag to this layout in the front um, I really thought it was super pretty uh, just the idea that I had and so I'll show you in a minute I have to kind of tear up um, the little ephemera piece there and but first we're gonna go ahead and do this <laughs> so here I found this little rose that was just kind of a little piece uh, that was torn off from when we tore the other pieces and so I went ahead and inked that up tore it and you know inked it and placed it on that little paper clip ephemera and I just thought that looked so cute so simple right um, so easy and simple to do and adds a lot of you know just uh, a, a nice touch to uh, that little ephemera piece and then here I had a little sticker sheet and it says live simply and uh, so I went ahead and placed that on there uh, on the little paper clip or not paper clip the the um, uh, I, the little ephemera piece <laughs> so here I went ahead and I started tearing this large piece. Now this large piece I was saving. I'd actually put this to the side because this was going to go on this large tag. And um, I went ahead and just tore the pieces to where it would fit uh, on top of this tag. And I just thought it would look so pretty. So I decided to roll in one side and I love doing this. Um, just adds a little bit of, you know, uh, something to your, your tag, to your project. And I just really love, um, rolling in the sides, making everything look really kind of vintagey, you know, torn up, old, you know, everything. So I love this. And so I went ahead and added that to the tag and just, it just looks so pretty. And so I, like I said, here is where I tore up the little ephemera piece <laughs> and placed the tag down. Now, since the tear is on the, out, you know, underneath, you can't really see it unless somebody tears it up themselves. <laughs> but um, so I went ahead and then stuck that little ephemera piece with the rose on there, stuck two little tickets in there to give it a little bit more of a vintage look. Um, I really, really love it. Added uh, this cute little frilly paper clip to the top of there um, and then just started gluing everything down. And then I did add a little milk disc 
disc on the bottom part there. So next I found this beautiful pink ribbon in my stash and so I thought that this was perfect for a closure for this book. Now you can go ahead and adhere this, the back of the ribbon to the back of the book if you wanted to. I chose not to. Um, you could just slide that ribbon off and then slide it back on for your closure. And I really just think it's, it's totally up to you. It's a personal preference. Um, and that is it, you guys. We are done so pretty so quick and easy you guys <laughs> okay so we are done with our little journal here and I think it turned out so pretty we used about everything in the kit <laughs> we used all the paper and we used most of the flowers I think all we have left are the little discs and a few flowers um, and yeah so I think we used everything in the kit um, to create this cute little junk journal and I think it turned out super cute I really love the flowers in the front I love how the front came together with the little tickets the little um, chocolate milk disc uh, we added we tore up some paper and added them to the front of the tags and everything and added our own um, a ribbon and lace from our stash uh, definitely you can add things from your stash or from swaps that you've received to create a junk journal so I think it turned out so stinking cute so the neat thing about this little slide off um, ribbon holder is the fact that you can just again slide it off and slide it back on you don't have to if you don't want to definitely you can glue this back here and then untie it and then you know tie it back up when you're done um, but I just think this is so stinking cute and uh, it opens up just so I'm gonna move that out of the way opens up like this we have our two tags in the front now I love these blank so that way you know people you can journal on these you could stick little photos maybe memorabilia on here if you want to um, and then uh, in your pocket you know you just go ahead and slide these down and we used the tickets as little pull tabs so I thought that was a really cute idea here we stuck a little ticket up here you can definitely stick something you know like a little card or you know uh, again memorabilia picture whatever you're going to stick in here journal about it here on the page um, and then here you could do the same thing uh, here I added some little tickets as a tuck spot and then we added these little um, tickets here and so I thought that that was super cute and then you flip it over and we made a pocket out of one of the pages that we had and we just went ahead and stuck some of the um, paper that we tore and we stuck that in there to create a little pocket and yeah and then there is one of the cut apart pieces so you definitely stick that right there you could stick this anywhere I mean you could stick it here you can stick it here you could put you know something else in here if you wanted to you don't have to stick those in there um, this piece here I thought it was really cute as a little tuck spot so I tucked some little tickets inside of there and then you can journal you can journal on the back and then here I had this little hello um, clip and I thought that was super cute so I just clipped that on there on this little pocket that we did put a little tall um, piece of uh, oh because it's stuck on there <laughs> so I'm going to remove this so in order to get that out you got to unclip that and then it comes out so it's just a little tag and you can just get journal on this and I thought that was super cute um, here is your little tags that you could clip together and you could just stick right on there or you could stick them up here doesn't really matter um, I just thought that this little clip was really super cute here these are just journaling play pages that you can just journal on or you could stick you know uh, pictures on them or whatever we used the little tabs that were in the kit and we put I uh, just folded over those little stamps I thought that was a cute idea 
for decoration. And then here we used one of the cut aparts. And then here we used um, our little distress tool to distress uh, some of the pieces of ephemera and the pages and such. And then we used our inks and to just, you know, go ahead and go around them and add a, a little bit of color. And so here is a little flower that I stuck there. And then here I stuck one of the little milk discs. Um, here I added some flowers to the front of my little booklet here and some little lace that I had in my stash. You open it up and you have a nice little center for photos and um, you could definitely stick something behind this one. So I thought that was really super cute. And then here on the back of this one, I just stuck some lace that I had in my stash. Um, so any kind of laces that are short, um, you know, that you don't have a lot of, like this one here, right? You could just stick that on there. Um, you know, use your, your pieces of scraps. And then here, I went ahead and stuck this little tab here on the music paper. Um, and I went ahead and stapled that on, on top of our uh, lace that we glued down here on the side. And then I went ahead and put some more lace here. Uh, placed this little thankful envelope ephemera piece right here and that's just stuck right underneath that little spiral paper clip. Here we added another little piece of ephemera and that's just stuck there. Um, here you could definitely add a, a, you know some other items here on top of this to decorate it. We added our little um, divider pieces here and I stuck the stamps on this one to go this way and then added, um, did the border, cut that out and then stuck that as um, part of the little pull tab and I thought that looked really super cute. Here I just glued this little, it says um, make today beautiful and it's, it's only glued down on the top so it is a tuck spot and I thought that that was super cute so you could just stick you know, something right underneath there. Here we have hello, and we it's just a little piece of ephemera that's stuck right in there. So cute. A little 79 cent sticker here, or um, I'm probably, sorry, piece of ephemera, and I just glued that down. Here we have a life is beautiful ephemera. This is uh, from the cut apart page. And then here is where we went ahead and we tore this rose out. We stuck it on one of the uh, photo mats. And um, yeah, and I thought that looked super cute. So it's just st stuck right there in that pocket with um, some lace that I had in my stash. Here, I actually used the lace as my tuck spot. So you can do that as well. So you just tuck your lace or your your little tickets or whatever right inside of there and um, this you can use as a as a photo and then maybe later move these down into a little pocket I thought that was super cute <clears throat> and then here on this one um, I went ahead and used one of the uh, ephemera pieces as my pull tab we went ahead and covered one of the photo mats here and then I just stuck this large piece that was part of the paper and I just stuck that down as a little pocket so you could definitely do that as well I thought that looked really super cute and it says love blooms here treasure you turn the page and you have a nice page for journaling and then here I went ahead and stuck some lace up on top here that I had in my stash and then just clipped on some pieces of um, ephemera pieces that were from the collection and I just thought that that was so cute. I really love this page back here and I didn't want to leave it blank. So that is our little junk journal and of course you know your junk journals you can definitely add more stuff to them. I mean you don't have to just leave them. Once you're done with them you can definitely add more items to the inside you know. Um, you know any type of memorabilia um, you go to, let's say you got a vacation and you want to, um, you know, stick some items somewhere. This, it, your little junk journal is a perfect place to put those little items. And, um, yeah, so 
that that's so cute so thank you so much for joining me i have the links down below for you uh for this crafting project that i did for trace jolie um it is the card making kit for january 2024 you guys so thanks again for joining me take care and i will talk to you soon bye Thanks so much for joining me today, y'all. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. And hit that bell for future notifications on all upcoming videos, tutorials, YouTube hops, and my Friday Night Lives at 4.30 Central Time.